This period of time, I first saw all these guys because I read mm -hmm. the magazines, right? But there were no, there was no home video, there was no VHS. TV was depending on the territory, so I'd seen all these names and I'd seen pictures of them, but I never got to see them in the ring until the movie The, the Wrestler, Wrestler came out. How did Vern produced a, a Hollywood movie with Ed Asner and people that had actually acted and done the whole thing? It wasn't the usual wrestling, you know, right. we'll get some guys with the, you know, Instamatic over here in the corner. He was serious about this, and he wanted to present a positive image of he wrestling, wanted, and it was some classic yeah. scenes with Bruiser it? and Crusher and the barroom brawl and Dusty and Murdoch. Yeah. What do you remember about that, that period? And well, uh, that was his goal. He, he wanted people to become more aware of, of wrestling. You know, it, everybody's area w was getting hot yeah. at that time. And he, 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 he was such a, a believer in giving the people um, the impression when you got in the ring you better make those people believe this is real yeah and he he was so I, I i guess the way he you know with his wrestling background he didn't want people knocking it all the time oh a bunch of bulls this much bullshit you know and he made guys wrestle so his way to really get it across across the country was to do a movie and he wanted to do it his way. And uh, he had backers, uh, Eddie Graham and uh, Fritz von Erich and some other guys all contributed to it. And it did some huge numbers. They said it was a flop. But we know for a fact that uh, for f six days straight in San Francisco, the movie theater was sold out every night. And they said they didn't make a dime with it. What, you, what we, he didn't know and what you didn't learn, I mean, you learn it yeah. the hard way, is the distributors get a hold of the movie, distribute it, and they take everything out and they show losses on everything. I, I got to be honest with you. I, I loved it. Stevens takes the upside down bump. Uh, the young Ric Flair is one of the, uh, the trainees that's sitting there, you know, look at But the thing is, I had to talk to my mother because I'm, I'm 12, right? Yeah. So she's got to take me because <laughs> I, can't, I can't get all the way downtown by myself. And the theater that it was, the only theater in town it was showing at, was the United Artists slash Penthouse. It had, oh. It's now the Louisville Palace, and it had been one of the grand old uh -huh. you know, movie palaces, but at the time they'd split it into two, the Penthouse was up here a little, and they showed kung fu movies. And it's downtown on 4th Street, and basically, you know, are you, are you sharing the theater with a wino? Or, you there? Know. <laughs> well, no, there, there, was, there was actually two or three people because she agreed the only time she would take me is broad daylight, and I said, okay, let's go the first day. She lets me stay out of school, and she takes me at like 11 o'clock in the morning or whatever it was. So there was literally two <laughs> or three other wrestling fans we recognized from the gardens uh -huh. that would brave it to come down, and, and uh, there were no winos sleeping there, and I got to see the movie. But it was... and. To this day, the movie, the poster, is a classic, a classic. to me, too. Well, it was, um, it was funny because the promoter, everybody that stuck money into it was supposed to, they were, everybody was, agreed they would promote it on their wrestling network. Yeah. And some of the guys didn't promote And I, well. I got to be honest, uh, Nick Goulas and, uh, and uh, Jerry Jarrett get uh, an A rating for that because they sold me the ticket, boy. Nick Did was they? out there plugging it. He was selling like an auctioneer. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, Ed Asner, uh, in fact, he just called uh, a week and a half ago. When my father passed away, they were good. They became really good friends. Ed was, Ed was a fantastic guy. He was so much fun to be around. He was just one of the guys. He even did promos um, yep. it, it, on the Indianapolis show mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, Sam Miniker. Sam Miniker. You know, Him and Sam became cool. buddies. They, they.